How does nautical pressure influence the coastal dolphin populations? I'm going to show you the first results of a study specially focused to investigate what impact is suffering the borderline dolphins in Ibiza. When we talk about hotspot, it is because, in fact, it is. More than 3 million tourists visit Ibiza and Formentera every year. 75% of them visit the archipelago during summer, mainly looking for sun, for beach, and nautical experiences too. That obtained clearly shows two results. During summer months, there is more noise, four decibels more, and the presence of dolphins is just a half than in winter. That is uh, more tourists, more noise, less dolphins. How have we worked? For a year, a network of seven hydrophones was deployed at about 30 meters depth. Note that the very coastal area where, especially in summer, boats and dolphins coexist. Sound files were analyzed with Pangard and Wishels analysis with Raven Pro. Signature Wishels method described by Janik was used to create the catalog. Uh, briefly, uh, I'm going to show you the main data and results obtained. We collected near than 200,000 files, finding a 0.63% of positives. False negative error was determined just over 1% so negligible. 85 signature whistles were recaptured 675 times. We took 12 sampling occasions, as many as months of study. We calculate abundance using closed population approach. Geographically, we can assume there's no immigration or emigration. Just, uh, this is justified by previous genetic and stabilized adopt studies which reveals light isolation of the study area. Demographically, close population is assumed because the number of vets and birds in a single year study for a species with a low reproductive rate, high survival rate, and a large generation period is not a significant lapse of time. We worked with conditional likelihood models of Huggins models. It includes variation in counter probabilities due to time variation, MT, due to behavior after first coat, MB, due to individual heterogeneity, MH, and also due to individual random effects, RE. Finally, the best model was time dependent with individual random effects. So the population in shallow water surrounding Kibitha and Formentera is 108 individuals at 95% of confidence, not lower than 94, and not higher than 143 dolphins. This way, we can conclude that results show the effectiveness of passive acoustics and the sonic identification model for monitoring bottom low dolphin population in coastal marine areas, while assessing the impact of one of their main threats, underwater noise pollution. Furthermore, signature whistles are a useful tool to study connectivity between areas, movements, habitat fidelity, and social patterns. Well, despite the results, other factors will be as the presence of torsi truncatus, like rail availability, fisheries activity, and cultural traits. So those factors should be studied, uh, determine the weight to the damage caused by underwater noise pollution. Uh, thank you very much for attending and thanks to the supporters too. Please don't hesitate to contact me. Have a nice conference to everybody.